With about 250 bishops from all over the world, the Synod is addressing a long list of issues affecting families worldwide. The most basic is underlining what exactly defines love within a marriage. We see a new wave of emotions where it's easy to disregard what human love is all about. This opens the door to very intense relationships, but on the downside, they are also very fragile. Spending one's life with someone else isn't easy. There are highs and lows, which include one's personal and even social expectations. It's an entire process. It's not just about preparing for marriage, but also about being there after the wedding. It's about giving them all the tools to overcome the challenges and pain that, be it from one issue or another. I think we actually need to reimagine uh, family life again and help people grasp how important uh, steadfastness, faithfulness to one another really is and offer much more support in times of difficulty. We have to be honest, difficulties happen. With 13 couples invited to speak in the Synod, the experiences of highs and lows that come with marriage and family have been personalized. With the support of her husband, this Filipino woman overcame a serious illness and she refused to have an abortion despite the pressures of her doctor. They are approaching us and saying the faith that we have is so great and uh, it is a good contribution. And thank you for sharing that thank faith. Thank you for sharing that faith with us. The Synod meetings break down to two daily sessions, one in the morning and the other in the afternoon. The Synod will conclude on October 19th.